Look at that headline in the Kaicho News. Exxon's biggest expenses, the big money invoices and bills that was handed to Guyana is completely missing from the audit report. Barat Jagdeo said he asked his people to make public. What you call that, guys? Scampishness? Skillfulness? Smartness? Crookishness? Or wickedness? I don't know. You tell me. The small bills and invoices. We have seen how much Exxon helped themselves with our oil profits. That runs in the hundreds of millions of American dollars. If they can do that with those small bills and invoices that was exposed in the half report Jack Dewden put out, then what have they done to us with the big invoices, the big bills that we didn't see in the report as yet? <laughs> now listen this. After Barra Jack Dewden told my reporter, he asked his people to put out the report online and couldn't say whether the full report was online since he didn't check it personally, my reporter then moved to the minister, Vikram Bharat. Look him there and ask him to clarify whether the full report has been released to the public. He responded and said, it's online, two words only, but did not clarify whether it was the complete report. My reporter asked him again the next day to say if the full report was published, but did not receive a response. The reporter for the third time sent him that same question. The minister read the question one hour later, but never responded. Several calls were made to his phone but he never answered any one of them. I just see what playing out in this country with these leaders. A very simple, straightforward question. Minister, is that the full report I put out online or not? And the media can get an answer to give the nation about what is going on with their own wealth. It was pointed out by the auditors that Exxon willfully and deliberately spend our oil profits. In short, they robbed Guyana in front of our faces. And all these leaders doing is ducking, dodging, skipping, and hiding from the media. At first, them didn't want to release the findings of the audit. But when Kaicho News got a peek into it and began exposing the skullduggeries, they realized they couldn't hide it anymore and decided to release it. And look what, look what they're handing Guyana today. Half of the report with the petty items and hiding the big ticket items from us. How could this ever be right and fair? in a country like Guyana that is so blessed with oil. Tell me, 